zwarte melk van de vroegte. We drinken haar s'avonds. We drinken haar smiddags en smorgens. We drinken haar s'nachts. I don't mind the human race. I've got pretty used to them in these past 25 years. I don't mind if they sit next to me on streetcars or eat in the same restaurants, if it's not at the same table. However, I do not approve of a woman I respect dancing with one of them. I've tried asking them to my home without success. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, really nice to meet you. I'm really excited to be here. Um, this is a very exciting time for me, for all of us, I guess. Hi, I'm Frank. Yeah, I live here since, since I don't know when, since maybe 20 years. Are you new? You're new to the town? Yes, I'm, I'm just a little bit stressed. Uh, do you ever feel like you hate everybody? Zwarte melk van de vroegte. We drinken haar s'avonds. We drinken haar smiddags en smorgens. We drinken haar s'nachts. I hope. I hope that um, my boyfriend future husband, future husband, um, will not invite his punk friends to our wedding because they're loud and they don't dress well. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, you know, stressed, stressed. Yeah. And they always want to talk about stuff that I'm really not that interested in. And I have better things to do at the moment than to talk about, you know, I don't know, demonstrations in America or... I shouldn't care to see my own sister marry one. Even if she loved him, think of the children. Their art is interesting, but certainly barbarous. I'm sure, if given a chance, they'd kill us all in our beds. And, you must admit, they smell. Oh, but of course, I'm not talking about you. But do you know that, right? Zwarte melk van de vroegte, we drinken je s'nachts. We drinken je s'morgens en s'middags, we drinken je s'avonds. We drinken en drinken. Er woont een man in dit huis. Hij speelt met de slangen, hij schrijft. Hij schrijft als het schemert naar Duitsland. Je goudblonde haar, Margarete. Je asgrauwe haar, Sulamith. We graven een graf in de lucht, daar ligt men niet krap. I, I, I don't speak uh, English very, very well, so... You're a tourist, but you're from, from the States, maybe? <laughs> I'm really afraid that, um, that we are kind of, that everything's changing. There are places in, in, in Germany where, where they don't even talk German anymore. I cannot imagine that, you know? Um, and that's why, that's why I'm afraid. I also have my own sources of information. Because I think you cannot really trust in the news. Um, it's all biased. Zwarte melk van de vroegte, we drinken je s'nachts. We drinken je s'morgens en s'middags, we drinken je s'avonds. We drinken en drinken. Hey man, what's up? Hey, I'm James. Good game, huh? What do you think? I mean, it was in the pocket, right? Uh, what are you drinking? 
Um, I'll get you a lager, wait. Um, are you, I haven't seen you around. What'd you think of this week, huh? Pretty crazy, no? Yeah, I know. It, um, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess, I guess the polls are right after all. I don't know. You never know. Um, I mean, even, even Fox is turning on Trump now, so what do you know? <laughs> I just, they keep, they keep framing him, you know, like he didn't even say to stop, to stop the actual counting of the votes. He was just talking about the illegitimate votes. This is not the same thing. Um, but, you know, media worldwide, they're all saying the same thing. They're copying each other. It is one big echo bubble chamber. Zwarte melk van de vroegte, we drinken je s'nachts. We drinken je s'middags en s'morgens, we drinken je s'avonds. We drinken en drinken. Century has started off lousy. There is there no is computer no bug. There is no fucking catastrophe. After the endlessly boring 90s, the inhabitants of the Western world had been looking forward to something happening. Something that didn't have anything to do with the financial crisis that only held excitement for investment bankers in the last few meters before their fit bodies hit the asphalt. Will my tremendously fit body splatter the pavement just like the body of a white, fat, untrained loser? Or will it bounce off, bounce up into the air? This is the time of Facebook. It is the time of mass fake news, of mass manipulation. People are quickly becoming addicted to the likes of their unknown online friends, addicted to an arousal made up of a mixture of bullying, violence, sex, and bullshit. It is the time of virtual cruelty being added to the real life cruelty of humans in which the longing for understanding becomes the rage of the unknowing, the ignorant. There have never been so many conspiracy theories fueled by the internet. With the world seemingly growing more and more complicated every day, the population's desire for a thunder god grows. It is the time of something. It is always the time before something. Zwarte melk van de vroegte, we drinken je s'nachts. We drinken je s'middags en s'morgens, we drinken je s'avonds. We drinken en drinken. 
Er woont een man in dit huis. Je goudblonde haar, Margarethe. Je asgrauwe haar, Mesolamit. Hij speelt met de slangen. Hij roept speel, de dood eens. Wat zoeter, de dood is een meester uit Duitsland. Hij roept strijk de violen. Wat triester, dan stijg je als rook naar de hemel. Dan krijg je een graf in de wolken. Daar ligt men niet krap. How's the family? Everybody's coming over on Tuesday. So I want the house to be perfect. Of course. So I was thinking of having her come over by Monday. You're so right. Hello. My name is Maria. I would like to come and work here. Mm, no. Hello, pleasure to meet you. Uh, I am Maria. I will love to come and work here. I am responsible. It's perfect. She'll be done when everybody gets in. So like she doesn't have to see anybody. That would be awkward. I know, right? Yeah, she always acts so nervous around us. When she's busy and I walk by or something, she's like scared. And she never accepts anything to drink, like water. And she's going all, I'm done, almost done. I'm done very fast. I work hard. I'm, I'm responsible, clean, and really reliable. I'm done very fast, very fast. I am responsible, reliable, clean. Why could she be so nervous? I have no idea. Maybe you... How do I say this nicely? Caught her doing something? No. She doesn't know where we keep the real expensive stuff. She's just nervous. She always is. Maybe. Maybe all of them are just nervous. It's normal for them to act like that. I have worked since I was 15. Um, I, I have a lot of experience. Big houses, tiny houses, um, children's room, animal houses, windows, big windows. And I can clean the dust for people which are um, allergic and um, evenings. Shifts, no problem. Morning shifts, no problem. And I, I only um, ask for 12 euros a salary, 12 euros for my marvelous work. I'm thinking of getting one for myself. That's great. What do you recommend? Ours, you should get ours. But don't let her think she got the job because of me. Otherwise, she might get a little bit with, uh, with her head in the clouds, right? Please, no. Give her a very strict interview. Yeah? Oh, come on. She's already very expensive, after all. God. Can't you find any good cheap ones? There are barely any good ones. Trust me. I know them all. I could use a couple days off. I love the holidays. Best time of the year. Oh, and one suggestion, don't tip her. She'll work less hard. Yeah, it's nice, huh? Being all together. Love. That's what it's all about. Love. Er woont een man in dit huis, je goudblonde haar Margarethe, je asgrauwe haar Mesolamit, hij speelt met de slangen. Hij roept speel, de dood eens, wat zoeter de dood is een meester uit Duitsland. Hij roept strijk de violen, wat triester, dan stijg je als rook naar de hemel, dan krijg je een graf in de wolken. 
daar ligt men niet krap. Well, I started eight. Yeah, no, I, I did prepare the food, but it's just... Um... Of course I want to have the food, but I, I don't think that I should be there specifically. I just don't think that we should go there because she's going to bring it up. No, there is no, no, dad, no, it's no, it's no use talking about fashion to her. No, she will start about politics. You, you, you say something about it, about your hair, she starts about headscarves. You say something about pants, she says she cannot wear pants. It's impossible to talk to this woman in a neutral manner. No, I'm not saying that you're talking to him in a neutral manner. No, I'm. That's not what my teacher education has taught me. What do you mean politically correct? I'm not politically correct. I hate the fucking cartoonists. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is. A, yeah, I've been spending a lot of time with my friends, and yes, they say fuck. Sorry, Dad. They say fuck. Yes. I do want to eat the cake with you, but just not with auntie, because she's going to start all over again about beheadings. And it's really hard to eat a cake when somebody is talking about beheading. Like if you don't talk about it, then you don't have to fight about it, right? And they should cancel that magazine as well. Don't tell auntie I said that. I just go out on the street and I'm I'm scared. I'm I'm scared. I'm I'm looking everybody like if they had done something wrong. I'm all the all the time prepared to run. I hate it. And I don't know from, uh, of course, I, are you not thinking everything should change? It's so opposite. I'm going to the choir, I'm feeling very good and, um, and we are singing a lot of new songs. I'm developing myself and then I'm going outside and I'm like a turtle in the box and trying to hide my, my head and uh, they're not even going to school. They are, of course, we need to think in education and, uh, and uh, social help, but this is only uh, doing things worst. They are not learning nothing. They are not going to school. They're not working. We are working the hell out of us to be able to pays for a dumb choir or whatever and our government is corrupted and that will not change it's not changing in years and it's the only way we could fix the things uh, we need someone to 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 put rules we cannot live scared like this it just doesn't work. Zwarte melk van de vroegte, we drinken je s'nachts. We drinken je smiddags de dood is een meester uit Duitsland. We drinken je s'avonds en s'morgens, we drinken en drinken de dood is een meester uit Duitsland en blauw zijn zijn ogen. Hij raakt je met kogels van lood, hij staat onbewogen. Er woont een man in dit huis, je goudblonde haar Margarete. Hij hits zijn bloedhonden tegen ons op, hij schenkt ons een graf in de lucht. Hij speelt met de slangen en droomt dat de dood is een meester uit Duitsland. Je goudblonde haar, Margarete. Je asgrauwe haar, Sulamit. Eine der Thesen ihres Buches, sie taucht bereits im Untertitel auf, ist die von der Banalität des Bösen. Daran haben sich zahlreiche Missverständnisse geknüpft. Nun, ein Missverständnis ist das folgende. Man hat geglaubt, was Banales ist auch alltäglich. Nun, ich glaube, ich habe es so nicht gemeint. Ich habe keineswegs gemeint, der Eichmann sitzt in uns, jeder von uns hat den Eichmann und weiß der Deibel was. Nichts dergleichen. Ich will Ihnen sagen, was ich mit der Banalität meine, weil mir 
in Jerusalem eine Geschichte eingefallen ist, die Ernst Jünger einmal erzählt hat und die ich vergessen hatte. Ernst Jünger ist äh, während des Krieges zu pommerischen oder mecklenburgischen, nein, ich glaube Pommern, Bauern gekommen. Die Geschichte steht in den Strahlungen. Der Bauer hatte russische Kriegsgefangene äh, unmittelbar aus den Legern bekommen, natürlich völlig verhungert. Sie wissen, wie russische Kriegsgefangene hier behandelt worden sind. Und sagt zu Jünger, na, dass das Untermenschen sind und vier, wie es Vieh, das kann man ja sehen, sie fressen den Schweinen das Futter weg. Jünger bemerkt zu dieser Geschichte, manchmal ist es, als ob das deutsche Volk vom Teufel geritten wird. Nun, äh, und er hat damit nicht dämonisch gemeint. Sehen Sie, diese Geschichte hat eine empörende Dummheit. Ich meine, die Geschichte ist sozusagen dumm. Der Mann äh, sieht nicht, dass das Menschen tun, die eben verhungert sind. Nicht wahr? Und jeder es tut. Aber diese Dummheit hat etwas wirklich Empörendes. Und das ist die Dummheit. Eichmann war ganz intelligent, aber diese Dummheit hatte er. Das war die Dummheit, die so empörend war. Und das habe ich eigentlich gemeint mit der Banalität. Da ist keine Tiefe, das ist nicht dämonisch. Das ist einfach die, der Unwille, sich je vorzustellen, was eigentlich mit dem Anderen ist. Nicht wahr?